All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be showing you guys what it's like driving with window tint on the windshield. Um, I've done a video like this before. It was on my old car. This is a kind of a different setup. It's a little darker, not by much, but some of you guys wanna see it, so I'm gonna make it happen. So for starting off, I have 35% windshield tint and then I have 15% all the way around. So you can see it's kind of pretty much a cloudy day. Uh, when it's sunny, it, you can't really, you can hardly notice it. So I'm gonna show you guys right now what it's like. And then once it gets darker, like at nighttime, I'm gonna be driving around the back roads, maybe do some freeway and show you guys what it's like for those of you guys that are thinking about it. So I'm gonna hop in my car right now and give you guys like an inside view. I have my sun visors down. I always, that's just something I always keep down. I wanna get a banner on here. But yeah, that's um 15%, 35%. Um, if I roll my window down, you kind of see the split difference. So, outside and then with the windshield. During the day, during like a sunny day, you're not really going to be able to tell from the inside. But, uh, but on forecast days like this, you're definitely going to be able to tell. I love it personally. I was going to go 20%, but that was a little, a little too dark. Uh, especially because I'm not I don't want to be home before sunset you know I want to drive at night and like sometimes I drive in the back road so I want to be able to see and not freaking go off-road and I've also had problems before where I am pulling out of a neighborhood or something and someone's crossing and I can't see them so it'd be kind of stupid for me to go even darker than what it is right now I think this is perfect honestly for where I am I mean if you're in a lower state like Texas, Arizona, somewhere where it's hot where there's a lot of sun, I'd probably recommend 20% on the windshield. And if you have pretty good vision, 5% on the sides. That'd be perfect if I lived somewhere other than Oregon where it's raining six months out of the year. Um, and it's always cloudy. All right, guys, so now I'm going to teleport into the future and show you guys some night videos of the windshield tent. Guys, <clears throat> so I think it's dark enough now. I kind of set the camera to where it looks like what I'm looking at it, so the ISO isn't so high. But yeah, this is basically it. Um, it's kind of raining, but as you can see... This is basically what I'm seeing right now without making the camera look like it's brighter. So I'm in a back road right now and this is what it looks like. Through the tent, this is what it looks like without the tent. So as you can see, it's pretty dark. Um, there's obviously light right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn right here to where there is no more light and I'll show you guys exactly. So if you plan on getting this, I set the camera to see exactly what I'm seeing. So what you're seeing right now is what you would be seeing if you got 35% on your windshield and if you got 15% on your sides. You can see, um, it's actually a good amount of darkness. So what really helps and what I like a lot is that it, the lights from the other cars don't really blind me. Um, it just cuts off. Obviously it's 35%, so only 35% of the light is coming through. Like I said, it's not that bad. It's just a matter of having good lights and getting used to it. Um, as you can see, I can, I feel like I can see fine. 
And this is as worse as it's gonna get because people don't know how to drive. <laughs> this is literally as bad as it's gonna get. Um, back road driving, I'll go straight. I just wanna give you guys a clear comparison so you guys know what you guys are getting. Obviously now there's light, so it's not as bad. And this is basically what freeway would be like. I don't think it'd be as bad just because there's more cars on the freeway and it'll help your visibility more. This is it for the back roads. It's not that bad. Like I said, what you see on the camera is what I'm seeing right now. I made it as close, I set the ISO basically as close as possible as to what I'm seeing and I think it's capturing it pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and roll into town right now and you guys can see what it's like driving in the city. So this is it, driving in the, around town and all that, you'll have no problem driving with 35%. And if you feel like this is too dark, I mean, 50% would be a lot better. You'll be able to see more clear and if it's something you're worried about. 